light. It's everywhere. And it can be one of your greatest assets. But just like anything else, you have to know how to use it right. Is he staring straight at it? Yes, don't do that, please. What is that? L7 peanut butter. My dad? Control over your light is gonna start with your camera. The way you get your image is by exposing your camera sensor to light. And the way you're gonna control that exposure to get the proper levels is from three things. F-stop, ISO, and shutter. The F-stop is the number that relates to how wide open or closed down the aperture inside your lens is. The lower the number, the more wide open that aperture is, letting light flood your sensor. The higher the number, the more closed down that is. And this is what will affect your depth of field. The more wide open your aperture is, the more shallow your depth of field is going to be. And if you do the opposite and close down, you're going to be getting a wider depth of field. Your ISO is your camera's sensitivity to light. The effect that you're going to get by adjusting this one is more or less noise into your image. The higher you set your ISO, making it more sensitive to light, the more noise you're getting into your image. Every camera has a native ISO, which is the best image to noise ratio for that camera. So try to figure out what that is and stick to that. The shutter controls the length of time your sensor is exposed to light, and a normal shutter speed is going to be double the length of your frames per second. So if you're shooting 24 frames per second, your shutter should be at 1 48th of a second. Faster than that, you're going to start getting that choppy action look. Slower, and you're going to get more motion blur. Action! The trick to getting great looking shots outside is knowing the best time of day to shoot. I usually try to keep the sun to my actor's back. That way you're keeping the sun out of the actor's eyes and giving yourself more contrast, which you can control with a bounce. You can make a bounce like this from basic materials from any hardware store, or you could use a poster board from Walmart, or if you want to spend a little more cash, you can get a flex fill. Regardless of what it is, I never shoot outside without one. So let's talk about lights. One of the most basic lighting setups is three-point lighting, which is key light, fill light, and backlight. The key light is the main light source for your scene, and we're going to put that on the side of the camera. The backlight goes behind your subject and helps separate them from their background. The fill light helps to control the contrast of the scene by filling in gaps, so to speak. So now you need to decide whether you want soft light or harsh light. With hard light, you're getting a much more harsh and contrasty light. If you want to create a more defined edge on your subject or a more controlled beam of light, this is the way to go. With soft light, you're getting a light that wraps around your character more and has a light that's a bit more uncontrollable than what you're getting with hard light. The good thing about this is, is it smooths out the skin and is much more forgiving to imperfections. These rules aren't necessarily how you're going to light your scene every time, but they are a great place to start when thinking about light. Toy Soldier. Nailed it. <laughs>